Well today I just patched up some brick steps so I'm going to show you how I did it. Here's a little step patch up. Now I'm actually here doing a different job but I had a little extra cement. I told him I just fix, fixed his bottom step real quick. Nothing fancy. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now I got it cleaned up. Before you even think about mixing cement, you take this and you piece it back together to see exactly how you're going to do it. What you do is you lay it out dry and you look for all the pieces that are going to fit. That's going to go there. This one will go here. You got to put one underneath. That's going to go there. Before you mix any cement, this is what you do. This one's going to go here. See what I mean? You piece this all together. And you find out where everything's going to go. And then you go mix your cement. Just like that. You see what pieces you need. What pieces you don't need. Got to clean a couple pieces up. Chip it off. like that. That'll go there. You might have to cheat. Maybe not. Let's get this one. Clean that off. That'll go in there. It's not going to fit because someone else tried to do it before. That, now it's going to fit. We need one more piece. Now I found all the missing parts. So I'm going to take these off, just like this, exactly the way they go. You see? Then I know where everything goes. And then when I put it back, everything should fit just the way I want it to. This is going to come out to here. Oh, got to move this, like that, now I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to mix it up, I'm using a fast set repair mortar, because I want this to go fast, alright, that's enough. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of sand, like that, and I'm going to add a little bit of Portland. Oh, Mike, you can't do that. Let me tell you something. I've been doing this for 50 years. That's the way I'm going to do it. Because I know it's going to work. It's only a patch. But I want it strong and I want it to set fast at the same time. So I'm doing a little cheating. And I've done it a lot of times before. And it works. So that's it. Now I'm just going to add the water, boom, 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 mix it up. Get them all ready. Put that brick in. That's about where I want it, right like that. What I want to do is get this piece in here first, just like that. Get that in there. You know where that goes. Now, I'm going to put this piece in. How come you're not wetting it, Mike? Because it's all dirt and dust and it's, it's only a little patch. I don't want to wet it. I'm going to put this all in here. Just like that. So when I set that piece in, it should stay like that. Let's give it a test run. Let's see how it goes from there. Now I'm going to get this piece 
put it right up in there like that. That's where it's supposed to go. We'll check it this way. Check it that way. All these bricks are out. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to touch it. Right there. Looks good to me. So now, where the cement gets too hard, put this piece in. Just like that. A little dab there. A little dab there. A little dab there. Put that in just like that. You see, I forgot the hammer and get that down in the back a little bit. Boom. Boom. Sometimes, if you have to, shim it up. See that? Just like that. Now, this piece. Going there. Don't worry about the cement too much at first. Just get it in there. This is fast, Ryan. Where's the hippie? Where's the glass blocks that hippie? What are they? Eight by eights? Yeah, they're over there. Alright, we're gonna probably lose the one. I gotta get I gotta get that. So there we are. Putting that in. Now this one looks like it needs a little more off of it. We'll take a little more off. A little more off. That's about it. like that so we know that goes there next brick goes here like that next brick goes behind it Sometimes you just gotta shim this up for moving until she sets up. See, put a little shim under it. All right. Next brick is gonna go here, like that. Let's check this one out. These last time was a little high, still a little high. like that oh no don't no it don't this brick goes in next like that okay see that like that and this brick is gonna go behind it like that this brick goes in there like that. And this brick kind of you can also do this with a saw if you want. Goes in like that. And then see some places were a little low, gotta shim it up. That's fast setting cement. 
and it's good the shim stays in there anyway. Like that. And like that. So we're good this way. And we're good this way. It's got to come out. This one's a little low. So. Leave that back in there like. Like that. There we go. Good. It's a little low. Throw a little more in there. This is fast setting cement, so it doesn't matter. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're just going to let them set up now. Now, I'm going to just kind of shove it in there. I'm going to pack up a little bit. Straighten these brick out. Just get this kind of flatten it out a little bit best I can. Make it look like the rest of the steps. That's all. Now might look like I'm a little messy here, but if you make it harder, you don't make as much of a mess. And there's a roof over this anyway. So I just want to kind of clean it up a little bit. Then I'm going to show you the mud trick. Nope. That's going to hide all these sins. See that? Hide all these sins. Make it look like I wasn't even here. Now, these kind of brick get dirty real quick. This ain't always the way to do this. But it don't matter. As long as it works. See? It's the original dirt in there. I'm not gonna bother that. Somebody fixed these steps years ago, I could tell. And I could tell that they are also a professional, so I give them credit for that. See that? Get that in there. Maybe this will stay together. A little bit better. So when you wanna when you wanna do the mud trick, you go to the family garden and you get yourself some mud. And see this dirt? Make mud out of this. We're gonna disguise that. You see that? Nice clean mud. That's gonna stain that. What do you call it? those joints make it look like the rest of the brickwork you understand that's how you do that it hides that newness to it see that don't look like we're even here mud trick we call this bit of the mud, you put it on the thing and you go over the brick wherever it's dirty, that's going to make that look old. So the next day I come back and you get a little film and I put that mud on there. So we're just going to wash it off. Get a little brush and you get that film on it. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. That was a freebie. I was waiting for this plumber to finish putting the pipes through so he could block in this window. And I'm looking at this step. And there was a lady and I figured, I told the lady I'll fix your step for free because I'm not doing anything. So I fixed it for free 
and I made it match the rest of the steps. Now I could have put it all in and pointed it up, but I just wanted to make it match. That kind of brickwork don't work here. They they put it in and then it rains in the in the winter time and they throw salt on it and it gets in the sides of those bricks and it busts them apart. Now they'll work down in Virginia, or they might work in England or California, but it don't work here. And regular mortar falls apart. Lime mortar falls apart here. I used a fast set repair mortar because rapid set is way too fast and the traditional was way too slow so I kind of mixed them my own recipe been using it for years never had a problem you don't wet the brick first with brickwork you'll always make a mess it all depends on what you're doing when you wet something it depends on what you're doing I didn't see size until the late 70s diamond size and they're a fortune everything everybody did was uh, by chisel or brick hammer. Anytime you're doing brick work or you're gonna piece something back together you gotta to lay it out dry. You gotta make sure you got all the pieces then you mix your cement and you put it in. Now that's a messy cement and usually with traditional cement you could come back the next day and scrub it off with a scrub brush or a steel brush and that'll clean it all up. But uh, the cement I was using is a hard cement to use with that kind of brick work. The mud trick always works. You're going to want something to look old or traditional. You always go to the garden, mix yourself up some mud and paint it. That'll stain that cement to make it look like the rest of it. I could have redid all the steps, but uh, it was a free job. I just wanted to patch it so they could walk on it. So thanks for watching these videos. Until next time, I'm Mike Haddock and that's it.